Welcome back to some more Hypixel Skyblock Iron Man. Today we're taking on the next tier of Kudra. We're going on to tier fours. I finally have enough reputation to actually go ahead and take on this boss. I've heard it is significantly harder than tier three. So I'm a bit concerned going into this because I don't know how our current gear is going to hold up. We're still rocking the, uh, the three fourths Aurora armor here. Uh, I've got my fiery chest plate from a couple episodes ago. So Hopefully that'll be enough, but I guess if you're looking forward to today's episode, hit the like button down below, hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 125,000 subscribers, so, uh, yeah, if you want to help me out, hit that subscribe button. We're getting pretty dang close, and hey, every subscriber counts, so just double check. Sometimes YouTube does that weird thing where it unsubscribes you, so, uh, you know, just double check you are if you have not already, and, uh, also use my creator code TOAD. If you're ever buying ranks, gems, or anything else off the Hypixel store, uh, use my supporter creator code TOAD for an extra 5% off. It really helps me out so much and actually is quite life-changing. So, uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to everyone who's used my code TOAD in the past. It really, really helps me out a lot more than you think. But, uh, with that being said, I think we have to just go ahead and get started here. So, I've been grinding a lot of, uh, Nether Reputation, been doing my dailies every day, been running every tier of Kudra every single day. And currently, we have just under 10,000 rep, which is actually pretty close to unlocking the final fifth tier of Kudra, which is unlocked at 12,000 reps. So, we're still probably, you know, roughly a week out from being able to do tier 5 Kudra. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need a decent while before we're actually ready to take on Tier 5 Kudra anyways, but we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. We're actually gonna go ahead and go on to the fiery stage today. So, uh, I guess I'm gonna get a group together and let's go ahead and start our adventure in, uh, Tier 4 Kudra. Alright, starting us off with a Tier 4 Kudra. First one I have recorded. Uh, this is quite a step up from Tier 3. So, I'm still playing crowd control, and this is just a random party finder party that I hopped into. The first one I saw so hopefully we'll actually be able to beat it. I'm not completely confident, but you know, there's only one way to find out and that's to just do our best. So, uh, of course I don't end up getting a crate. Why would this game ever give me a crate when I actually want one? Uh, you know what? That's fine. We'll just go here and we'll chill. Just be our little, uh, crowd control self. I bought a perk in the Crimson Essence shop that gives me 50 tokens on the start of the battle. So uh, I can just go ahead and uh, purchase my class instantly, which is nice. But we want to be much more deliberate about killing these guys as fast as we can because you are probably clearly seeing how much damage these things do. Even with our current gear, uh, this is gonna be close. We should be okay, especially if I get all of the mana from those. Looks like someone stole some of the mana. For some reason, the one that have the little bombs on them, uh, they actually drop a ton of bombs that restore mana for whatever reason when they die, so it's pretty important for the crowd controller to get the kills on those so they don't run out of mana, because I tend to run out of mana during Kudra, and why can't I place this? Okay, um, I, let's not die from this. There we go, you can probably see I just restored 2,000 mana from that, which is insane. Uh, we need one more crate. Well, I need Blight Slayer, actually. Whoops. There we go. Please don't die. And I died. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a auto revive and get back to taking out all of the Blights before uh, my whole team gets obliterated because I was dead. Get rid of those Blights, too. And we can start building. All right. So phase two is pretty much the same. Uh, it's actually, like, literally no different. I think it might build slightly slower, but, you know, that's probably the only difference. These guys are in really annoying spots, but whatever. See if we can take some of these out like this, get this built in time, get rid of some of these guys. Come on, build it, build it, build it, build it, build it. Come on. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, okay. I purchased this, I use this, go boom, go into the Kudra, go ahead and swap to our drill. And they told me to insta stun, so I'm gonna insta stun. We're just gonna go for it here. Gotta be a little bit careful because the server's been extra laggy recently when I'm doing this. We'll do this. And uh, I'll just trust their DPS. I don't know if we'll have the DPS for this, but. I'm going to hop out of here before I die. We'll do this, okay. And we did less than half of the damage required, so I don't think we're gonna two-phase unless we do the exact same damage and I also hop out as well and help damage, which is unfortunate. I want to buy a miniature nuke here and make sure I don't die. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna nuke the blazes if I could actually place this properly. There we go. We'll do this. I'm almost out of mana, which is unfortunate, and for whatever reason, the blazes didn't actually die when I did that. We're going over here. That guy shouldn't be able to kill me, I don't think. Um, why is it not launching me? Did I not- I didn't get the nuke. Dang it, man! Okay, well, that's not great. I'm gonna want to purchase some of this and use our ability. Break, 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 go, 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 come on, come on. Okay, he's stunned, he's stunned, he's stunned. We leave, we go terror armor. We go G-Drag, we go over here, get him, come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go,
just barely. I am glad I hopped out and switched to Terra at the last second. That I don't know if that was the difference or not. I'm not going to say it was because it probably wasn't, but that was very close. Toto getting Kudra after, after stun that time I did because <laughs> it was going to be really close. All right. Anyways, there's a tier four down. Uh, we got a 333, which is decent. And we get a Mandra. All right. This is a reforged stone. So I'm going to buy it for the sake of maxing out progression. We will eventually need nine of these. So that's kind of cool. But it's generally not too good of a reforged stone. But you know what? It's all right. We'll take it. Let's try another run. Let's go for a second run. I usually only show one run. But uh, I haven't really shown much Kudra on this channel at all. So uh, you know what? We're going to go for a second one here. We got a chest to spawn near us this time. But I don't think it's going to be enough to actually get... Oh! Oh, we actually got the Kudra to spawn right next to us, which means I will manage to get a supply crate right here before the enemies spawn. Will I have enough time to choose my class and change this to that? Replace that just for some more mana regen over time. And all right, now we're really getting started. I need to be careful to really take these guys out fast. Oh, okay, that was really close. <laughs> just because, you know, the Kudra followers, they do a lot of mana. Or they do a lot of damage, not mana. They Some of them give a lot of mana, but not really. And all of the bombs just totally juked me that was that was exactly what i needed to not have happened but you know what we'll be okay yeah i'm used to being mana starved in kudra so uh we just gotta play a little bit carefully gotta round these guys up a little bit group them up better and uh hopefully everything will be fine please let me get these come on there we go we have some mana now gotta do this okay the plasma needs to be replaced kind of soon but uh oh i need to buy blight slayer no not the fishing rod please i i swear i bought it no, please, can I can I have Blight Slayer, please? This game, this game, I swear, this game is absolutely cursed. All right, we're good. We're doing okay now. I have the things. I'm out of mana. There's no plasma orb. Please, orb. Please, maybe someone will place an orb. I don't know why no one ever places orb in Kudra, man, but you know what? Okay, we have an overflux orb. I guess that's okay. <laughs> maybe with the help of the ones that, uh... What? The Kudra Landmines. That's what they're called. Those are the ones that have the bombs. All right. Build this a bit. Hopefully, if we can do this, I'll clear these guys out. But I'm pretty much out of mana again because we don't have a Plasma Flux. I I'm going to get crushed by that if I do that. Okay. We'll do this. We'll buy a Miniature Nuke for the Blazes. Get the Blazes out of here. We'll just kill these because I'm not confident. I swear the Miniature Nuke doesn't actually kill them anymore. This is kind of dumb. Oh, uh, whatever. Oh, what? Wait, what do you mean we finished building? Okay. Well, dang it, man. I literally didn't notice okay i'm a little rusty when it comes to kudra if you can't tell but should still be able to get the stun off we went in decently fast come on and there we go let's prep this one just a bit and then i will proceed to go out not gonna switch to terror because i need to go back into kudra anyways but we'll do this and i died okay we have enough tokens to revive ourselves. that's fine we'll get revived i still have 600 tokens so i can buy a human cannonball and all of the stuff that i usually need let's clear out some of these uh magma areas or just the magma cubes in general um i can probably take this blaze out there we go We'll do that. We'll go ahead, get this guy done, get all of these guys down, and get ready to launch yourself into Kudra again. Or not, where is Kudra? Looking for the Kudra. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's get him. Oh, okay. We're going. We're going. And get this. Come on. Go, 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 go. Should be a pretty decent run. Let's go out. Let's switch pets. Let's switch armor. And we're shooting Kudra. Get him. Go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. Nice. Just barely. All right. Actually, that one wasn't as close as the last run for sure, though. That last run was extremely close. All right. Uh, I decided to put the uh, Spirit Mask on my Terror Armor just because it's uh, really helpful, especially in this last phase, just so we don't accidentally lose at the very last second. So there we go. That was a second run done. Let's go ahead and take a look at our loot here. We have Vitality Crimson Boots. Those I will gladly take. We'll take those just because they're nice. Wait, Purified Noob says wait in all caps. Did he get something good? What'd you get, man? Come on, let's see it. If you got something, I'll kill you. <laughs> let's see. I held right click. Oh, 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 ne never mind. That was okay. <laughs> Whatever. Let's, uh, let's open some more chests. And all right, there's another run that has been finished as soon as we can see the chests. Okay, let's go ahead and see. And Molten Cloak. Don't really care about that. Ferocious Mana, nah. I think we'll skip this chest. We'll hopefully get something better on the next run. Uh, let's get to it. 
All right, another run finished. Let's go ahead, take a look at our loot. Can we get something good? It's a Nora chest plate, but those attributes are the worst thing I have ever seen in the universe. So we'll take the free chest once again. Hopefully we don't go three runs in a row without getting something, cause that would be kind of annoying, but we'll try again. Okay, another run's finished. These runs are very scary, but uh, let's see. Molten Belt, Mana Pool, Life Regen. Molten Belt is useless to us because Implosion Belt's just so, so much better. So we'll go ahead and pass on that, unfortunately. So, sadly, we went three runs without getting anything at all, which is kind of sad. But I have a lot of keys left, so I kind of want to keep buying these chests just because, you know, the Crimson Essence is nice, but... I don't know, it just feels wrong to buy a chest that doesn't have anything good in it because it's just like, it's a waste of a key, you know? But I mean, the essence is gonna be, how did I get, why did I drop ship attack? Does one of these people not have the netherrack sunshade? That would be rather unfortunate. That's that one talisman that gives the, man, I don't know where it is. It makes you invisible to the dive gas, which are those guys up there. So yeah, um, we'll do another run then. Hopefully we'll get something good this time. This run was extra close. I died like as I broke the last bit to stun Kudra. So all right. Let's see, hopefully we're not gonna get something bad four runs in a row. Please, something good. Kudra gods. Breeze vet fervor chest plate. Nope. Nope. That's not what we're looking for. Not even remotely close to something I'm interesting in. Uh, well, this is going bad. I think I'll try for one more. Hopefully we won't get on a dry streak. Oh, <gasps> god roll, god roll boots. Oh. Oh, let's go. Oh my god. Oh. That is the first. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. No way. <laughs> no way, dude. Oh my god. I've done like 300 stupid runs. I didn't even check what I got. What is this life? Okay, that's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> These are sick. <laughs> no shot. Oh my gosh. So we managed to get the first of our three pieces of God Roll Aurora Armor. The funny part is I can't actually use this piece of boots until I get uh, the attributes high enough to combine with the current boots I have, which I believe I need to get them to Mana Regen 5. So uh, it took me a pretty decent while, like two or three days to actually get the stuff for it. But uh, once we were able to, I went ahead and I started up a stream over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash toadstar0, if you're interested. And well, uh... It's time to upgrade these boots. Okay, so we got another Mana Regen 3 piece. Let me go ahead and open up my uh, chest here. Oh, I don't know how to open chests here. I'm just too excited to craft these. Okay, we're gonna take these, we're gonna take these, and we're gonna take these. Uh, and all right, so our current boots are Mana Regen 5. So we go attribute menu, by the way, say hi to Twitch chat if you guys want in the YouTube comments section. <laughs> let, me, let me be extra careful doing this. So these are Blazing Res Mana Regen 3. I'm gonna combine them like this. So we get, um, is that right? Mana pool two, mana regen four. Three and three, yes, that is what we want. And then we go like this. Actually, wait, let me use a mana pool shard on this. Let me use a mana pool shard, um, cause I have one. So we'll do this, we'll go attribute menu again. We'll up this to mana pool three, mana regen four. These are still my god roll. I'm just checking every single time I do something. So we'll do that and we'll get those to level four. So we'll do that. And then we'll go like this. And this will make Mana Pool 4 Mana Regen 5 Aurora Boots. We'll do that. Now we'll go ahead, we'll take our main Aurora Boots. And I believe we do it like this. And alright, I'm just, I'm just double checking everything. These would be Necrotic Burning Aurora 3 Star. With our enchants, with the hot potato books, with the gems. The attributes are Mana Pool 4, Mana Regen 6. These are God Boots, 200k coins. There we go, our first... God piece of Kudra armor. All right. These are burning three star. All right. Oh, I can't believe it. Mana pool four, mana regen six. These are a beast of pieces. Can't wait to get these to mana, re uh, mana pool five. We'll need some more boots for that. But there we go. Our first God rule Kudra piece acquired. And well, here they are. Currently, I've gotten these up to burning uh, six star, I believe. Six out of ten stars. 
Ideally, I want to get these over to the Fiery Prestige, just like my chest plate currently is. And I have some Crimson Essence, so I want to see if we can put any stars on it right now. I don't know how much it's going to be, but we have coins and stuff, so we might as well at least try and upgrade this a little bit further. No idea what it is going into this. I didn't do the math or anything, so let's see. 100,000 coins, 1850 Essence to put the 7th star on it. Let's go ahead and do that. Next up, we have- Oh, we need Heavy Pearls now. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our Heavy Pearls. I only have eight right now, so we can't really do too much, but wow, 2100 essence, three heavy pearls, 250k coins for the eighth star. Let's go ahead and do that. What does the ninth one cost? Four heavy pearls, 2350 crimson essence, and 500,000 coins. We're out of Crimson Essence, but I do have enough Heavy Pearls to actually put the ninth star on. So let's go ahead and take a look at how much actually Warp Kudra is faster. We needed 2350 Essence. We have 454. We're not even close. So we're gonna have to stick with the eight star boots for now. I don't have any other upgrades I can make to this yet. So uh, I think we're just gonna go ahead and put these Heavy Pearls away. And actually, am I able to refresh my Heavy Pearls? Let me go ahead and go to the hub real quick here. Uh, let me get some Matriarch Perfume for the day. I don't know if I've used this yet or not. We'll use one. All right. So we actually are able to get some more Heavy Pearls. Unfortunately, I won't be getting much more Crimson Essence today. Wow, that was a lot of Corrupted Magma Cubes behind me. But uh, we're just gonna go over here grab ourselves heavy pearls hello our dear friend the matriarch over in your lovely matriarch's lair uh hello i'm just doggo uh hopefully you got all three of your pearls let's go ahead hop in the belly of the beast here and go ahead grab ourselves out let's not fall in the water immediately grab ourselves our three heavy pearls for now oh this is actually gonna be a little bit tough given the uh how these generated but i think we'll be just fine yeah we're we're totally fine this isn't too hard luckily they made the heavy pearls pretty easy to get we've gotten all three of them so as long as I'm not dumb, we can actually make our way out of this pretty darn easily. So there we go. There's another three heavy pearls, which are pretty cool. Are we able to refresh it one more time? I think it said something about nine minutes. So, uh, I don't know. Let's check. Uh, yeah, we can't use perfume yet again. We have to wait a little bit longer, but we're up to eight heavy pearls. I don't know how many we're going to need for the 10th star. Hopefully it's not more than six, but it's probably going to be more like 10. So, uh, not really looking forward to that, but hey, maybe in the next episode, we'll be able to get the ninth and possibly 10th star on this. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and leave this off here. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Bipixel Skyblock Iron Man. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Let's try and get, I don't know, 1200 likes on this video. That'd be awesome. And hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel or just haven't already. Double check, sometimes YouTube unsubscribes you and all that stuff. We're trying to reach 125,000 subscribers. So if you could just hit that subscribe button, it's totally free and you can always unsub if you want to later on. But that's it for today. Hopefully you all enjoyed and uh, use code TOAD and take care.